Holy Mother Vasily was born on the 7th of May 1889 in the village of Zhokhova of Podolsk County of Moscow province to the family of the prior of the Church of the Icon of Our Lady of Smolensk, priest Alexander Nikolai Farhangelsky and his wife Alexander Mikhailovna. In 1908, Vasily Alexandrovich finished a two-class college in the village of Chashnikova of Moscow province and began to teach at a school at a church of the intercession of Virgin Mary in the village of Mishetskaya of Moscow County of the same province, while two years later he was appointed a teacher at a school at a village of Petrishova of Varia County. On the 22nd of November 1913, Vasily Alexandrovich married Maria, the daughter of Deacon Peter Nikolsky, and was ordained a deacon to the church of Elijah the Prophet of the village of Sinkova of Mitrov County, replacing his father-in-law. In January 1919, Deacon Vasily was mobilized to the Red Army and was sent on defensive works near the town of Serpukhov. Upon his return in 1920, Father Vasily was ordained a priest to the Church of Elijah the Prophet, while in 1926, priest Vasily Arhangelsky was appointed to the Church of the Icon of Our Lady, the Joy of All Husserov, in the village of Asaurova of the Dmitrov district of Moscow region. Here, the priest served for the next 11 years. On the 27th of November 1937, priest Vasily Hungersky was arrested during the mass persecutions of the Russian Orthodox Church. The same day, he was questioned. We have information that you agitate in the anti-Soviet way, asked the investigator. I do not agitate among the population in the anti-Soviet way, answered the priest. Have you agitated among the population in the anti-Soviet way, appealing collective farmers to deny working in the kolkhoz? Give evidence. I have not agitated among the population and have not appealed any collective farmers to deny working in the kolkhoz. Do you accept the guilt in the indictment you have? That was the last question of the investigator. I did not plead guilty in the indictment I have as I have not agitated among the population in the anti-Soviet way," answered the priest. On the 29th of November, the officer of the Inquivity Department of Dmitrov District questioned some witnesses. One of them, the secretary of a Saurova village school, said, During the religious holidays, our Hungarsky agitated among the population in the anti-Soviet way, appealing collective farmers to deny working in the kolkhoz and go to church instead. On this topic, during the harvesting in 1937, he said, We, the Orthodox, must not change our religious interest on anything else, neither on our private, nor kolkhoz, while we must venerate God and pray to Him. Our Hungarsky said about the income tax. Soviet authorities have taxed both the faith of Christ and its clergymen so heavily, they want priests to stop serving at churches. On the topic of the elections to the Supreme Soviet, our Hungarsky said, We must not participate in the elections, even if Soviet authorities say that anyone may be elected, indeed there will be the same chairwomers that are now that are drinking the blood of people. Our business is just to listen to and to do what we are told without any politics. Already on the 29th of November, the investigation was over and Father Vasily was transferred to Taganka prison in Moscow. On the 3rd of December 1937, the Inquiry Troika sentenced him to 10 years of imprisonment in a labor camp. Priest Vasily Arhangelsky passed away on the 20th of January 1939 in custody in the Ekaterinburg region and was buried in an unmarked grave. On the 7th of May 2003, Priest Vasily Arhangelsky was canonized as a new martyr and confessor of Russia.